Hello, welcome to Recordev, where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Pasha Ochet. Today, we want to look at the structure. This is the church. We want to see how we can load our slab. Now, we have been talking about loading of slab. And as we have always said, that any time you have a good modeling anal anal analysis and designs, but yet your loading is strong, you underload, it can still lead what? To collapse. And that is why we are here to train you in such a way that you not underload or overload your structure. So looking at this structure today, this is a church. We have done video on how to load your slab when it comes to residential and hostels. And we have also done video on how to load your slab when it comes to shopping plaza and also on a shopping mall. There's difference between shopping plaza and shopping mall. And if you want to know this, just go and watch those videos. Just type it, how to load slab by Ekidel. So anything you want, just on just type by Ekidel. You will receive your what? Your wonderful answers. So now today we want to learn how to load your slab when it comes to church. The way you load your slab when it comes to church is different from when you when you want to load your slab when it comes to shopping plaza and other things. And the reason is because if you look at in the place of our loading, let's come to this place. Come to this place. And let's see. Let's see this place. And see, let's wait for it. Let's see what okay. If you come to our loading here and come to our impost load, you did notice that at this point there's nothing like church. There's nothing like church here. If you look at this place very well, there's nothing like church. Then how do you know which one to choose? And at the same time, there's nothing like a plaza. There's nothing like shopping mall. So all of those things, and there's nothing like a hostels. So we have done videos on all the one I've just mentioned. So looking at these, we are not doing video on anyone that's already here because once you have finished your modeling and when it comes to inserting inserting of your slab in your panels, once what you are designing and mentioned here, all you need to do is to do what to come here and click. That's okay. But you now notice that this one, what we are doing, they are not being mentioned here. In, so therefore, how do you know which of the load, or how do you know how to load such a slab when an architect design and uh, give you a, give you the, the design and is on church? So you might be confused when you now get to this place on how to choose your loadings. So that is why we are trying. We are trying to do what to produce uh, this video to train you on how to load what to load your slab when it comes to church is very very important. So therefore, let's go there and see how you load your slab. This structure as you are seeing is still under what under modeling. We have not finished, but for the sake of this training, we just hopefully want to use it to train you on how to do what to load your slab. And at the same time, there's a way you do your gallery when it comes to church. That training will also come up very soon on how to do what to load your excuse. So how to load your what to, to model your gallery when it comes to what to church. Is that okay? So that is that. So in case you have not subscribed to Ekide channel, I will advise you to do what to subscribe so that you can have access to our subsequent uh, videos. And we have also done videos on how to design your staircase software to use to, software that you can use to design what your staircase within five minutes you are done with your staircase design and all the drawing everything will be generated so and there's no other software than what, what we call kc soft all of these they are in what in ekidel so just go to ekidel and type whatever thing you want you receive an answer to it because we are out to do what to solve everything called engineering problem because we are trusting God to see how we can make this world a better place for us when it comes to what engineering. So thank you very much. And in case you have not uh, click on like button, I will want to say that please click on like button and at the same time subscribe to our Ekidel channel. So therefore, let's go and see how anytime you want to design, design um load your slab for church and at the same time mosque, the same thing, they are place of what of worship. So anytime you want to design for your, your mosque or your church, how do you load your slab? So that is why this training is for you. So we are doing this training so that it will help you. So that any church, no matter how big it is, how do you load it? Or mosque. So that's what we are here to do. So therefore, let's go there and see how that can be done. Let's go there. All right. Welcome back. So now, as you have said, we want to learn how to load your slab when it comes to church. Once the architect gives you the drawing on church, so we want to see you how you load your slabs. So are we together? So I haven't done your GA and everything, modeling and all of that. The, at the point of inserting your slab, how do you load your slab? Knowing that it's very, very important. If you model very well, you design very well, accurately everything fine, but you load, underload or overload, all of these are not too good. So how do you load your slab that at least properly everything 
is perfectly what perfectly okay that will not underload at the same t at the same time you will not what overload so that is why we are here to train you to show you how you can load your slab when it comes to church so how do you do that ideally you know how we normally uh, where we normally click this is a portal 2022 that's what i'm using so now i come to my model then click on my slab so as i've said we want to learn how to load our slab for church and mosque so since church and mosque are all the same place of worship so we want to see how we can load our slabs so now let's see so now i'm using 150 as my slab depth and i'm using what 25 as my concrete here cover so now where do we go to click on load that's our main main place so that's our main place so now that's our main place so therefore now coming to this place coming to do what to this particular particular place what do you do now it varies your dead load varies so but ideally our dead our dead load is what is one some use one 1.0 kilometer per meter square and some use 1.2 kilometer per meter square so whichever one you are using is still okay but don't forget your partition load all together so if i'm using 1.0 kilometer per meter square then plus 0 0.5 partition load becomes what 1.5 isn't it so now if i'm using 1.2 kilonewton per meter square as my dead load plus my partition load 0 0.5 that's giving me what 1 point what 1.7 so if you use 1.5 or 1.7 it's still within the range it's perfectly okay but as for me as for me i always use what my 1.2 kilonewton plus my partition load which is what 0 0.5 so if i add 0 0.5 plus 1.2 give us what 1.7 so do you see it now perfectly okay very very okay so there's nothing of dead load that you want to do maybe your 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 ties your terrazzo and whatever is able and perfectly okay for it so anything finishing on your floor they are very very okay this is very okay 1.5 1.7 perfectly okay now where the challenge is now is is what your imposed load how do you know the right word the right uh, tools or the right uh, load to use so once you click here and you right click now let me take you through if you look at this place you discover that there's no no place here that you find what church or are you seeing any church there's no church for me i'm not seeing any church here and we have to design for church so do you see it now so and there's no mosque here there's no mosque you might be thinking of general assembly if you say general assembly is okay yes it's okay I, maybe you have not been trained before now and you not see general assembly you can just attack as what well, as for maybe church or uh, school or um what do you call it mosque no if you use this place it's quite too much it's quite quite too much so now how do you now know which of these to use as i've said anyone that are already here we are not doing any video on it the only one we have done video on is what on we have done video on how to load the slab on hostels we have done video on how to load your slab on plaza we have done video on how to load your slab on shopping mall because there's a difference between shopping mall and shopping plaza we have also done video on how to load your i think this one now is church about some videos like that so anyone you are looking for here that is not here just type it on uh, youtube and see by epidel definitely you see answer because we have done video on mostly everything any uh, design from architects that might not be what that might not be mentioned here we have done that so today as i've said we want to see how we can load our slab for church so now i want to tell you that when it comes to loading of your slab having shown you the dead load the next one is your what your imposed load which is the life load so what are we going to do now is to now look at this place which one can we pick so i want to tell you the range which is perfectly okay for your church design so is either you use 3.5 or 4 kilo newton if you use 3.5 if you use 3.5 for kilo newton per meter square for your slab loading of slab as imposed load or use 4 is perfectly what perfectly okay it's between that 3.5 to what to four it's perfectly okay so since the church is a big church you know that that's very very busy highly busy then our answer is what is four this is now any of the value here that has to do what four kilo newton be it a uh, balconing be it a uh, machinery hall uh circulation circulation space to, uh, get in whichever one you use so it's perfectly okay even this one balconies guest house and and motel so all of them are they have the same value isn't it you can see four you can see four you can also see four here you can also see four here isn't it so you can use any of this value for your loading of slab of, of slab when it comes to what in post load or use what 3.5 is also okay is that okay so but for me our advice stick to what because we are designed for what for worst condition is that okay we always designed for worst condition no matter how maybe at the end because of construction or after, sorry after construction and you now have in fact 
let's say use the word overcrowded, overpopulated in that place, you know that your social world is safe. So this four is always advisable that what you should use it. When you are designing for church or mosque, I would say use four kilonewton per meter square. So therefore, me, I'm taking this as what? As my load. I will together. So don't say ah, don't go and look at it and get confused that this one is four, but for shopping area, this one is uh, four. All of them had what? The same value. Four is what? Four is four. Is that okay? So that is that. So that is that. So I click on it and I've explained this one to you that your dead load, how we came about this particular value. So once we have done this one, the next thing to do is to begin to do what? To click on your what? On your slab. Is to begin to click on what? On your panels rather. To insert your what? Your slab. So let's wait for it. It's coming up. All right. So I start what? Inserting my slab. So are we together? So as simple as as this. So I begin to insert. I begin to insert. Excuse me, my slab. I begin to insert my slab. So all is perfectly okay. Whichever one you decide to use is very, very okay. So this is it. This when it's come to your church, I would say, I would say rather that this is how to load your slab. Good modeling, analyzing, and design, but poor um, loading can still do what to collapse of your building. So that is that. So God bless you. Till I see you next time. But before we go, I want to say that in case you have not subscribed to this Equity channel, I would, I would say you should do what you should do so so that you can have access to all our videos at the same time. Anytime we release video, you can play what get notification or be notified. At the same time, if if you want to watch anything on Equidel, just type by Equidel. A structural engineer we have done a lot on structural designs so anything you want to what you are looking for on youtube just type it and say bye equidel you receive answer whereby we train properly we show you so many things that you need to know and but notwithstanding i want to say that we have equidel mentorship class whereby we train you specially like this one now we are concentrating on how to load your slab but when it's come to mentorship class that please there are other things we can even we can tell you and how to even calculate it to come about that uh, particular value that anyhow you any structure is being, being given to you you are not afraid to do it to design and to and to load it so equity mentorship class is i would advise you to click join join it's not it's free it's not free at the same time it's not uh, expensive and we also have what we call equity group whereby other engineers came together to be solving each other's problem so for example if i'm designing this uh, particular structure if i have any challenge i can put post it there and what other engineers respond to help me solve it and i come here and you discover that all has been what has been solved and in case when you now join i also have answers to it why not that's the place where we share knowledge because in equidel we don't hide our knowledge because we want to see a situation whereby we can make this world a better place for every one of us when it's come to us to engineering god being on our side so thank you very much god bless you in case you have not liked this video i want to click i want to say that you click on the like button at the same time subscribe to our equidel channel we have a lot of software when it comes to detailing also we have what we call stone bridge template detailing software is very fantastic your work will be so nice in fact by the time you finish your detailing you'll be saying wow i think we should put it by the side of your bed so that you can be watching that's how wonderful that software is when it comes to your stake is too in fact we also have that software that we call we call what kc soft mainly for what for staircase as wonderful as that within five minutes you are done with your what staircase head design so that is that thank you very much god bless you to so see you next time in our next video as i said click go to your youtube Type whatever you want and say by what by Equidel. You'll see answer in those places. On how to even use all those softwares, we have also done videos on that on that uh, software. So that is that. So thank you very much and God bless you. As I said, this structure is still under modeling, and also we are going to do video on uh, trusses, roof trusses. You can see this one. We have started. We have started this one. So we are going to show you a video on how to model your trusses. Also do what analyze, design, and also generate your drawings on trusses so we are going to do that on these trusses all of this you can see all will be done this year so thank you very much god bless you till i see you in our next video like epidel and also subscribe to epidel thank you god bless us all